guys, welcome back to a new video on the Adventure Fam. Adventure Juan. But before we get into what this video is about, let's do some house rules here. If you die or seen this video for the very first time and never been to my channel, hit the subscribe button down below, smash it, hit it, turn on that bell notification to become a part of the Adventure Fam because you will not regret, I promise. There are many adventures, many awesome things coming your way, so stay tuned. And give this video a big thumb up if you like football season because this is another football video. You did three this three. Yeah, you do do. And comment down below if you have a fantasy team and who's on it because we're going to be talking about that today. So, with that being said, let's get right into this. Let's talk about the fantasy football team. What? And let's see mine. So, let's go. All right, guys. So, I'm in a fantasy football lead um, with some of my buddies from high school. And let's just say, I have a good team that why not show you guys um so we're heading into week three and uh we're heading into week three and i'm two and oh undefeated i'm in both place too and it all thanks to there's definitely number one die on my team that it helped me with the so, I crafted this team, and let's just say, I did pretty good, and I crafted, I got both picks. So, of course I had any, anyone, I could have got anyone in the first pick. But who did I decide to get? A quarterback. And what quarterback did I decide to get? Not Tom Brady. Hell no, I would never get Tom Brady. So, if you all think I would get Tom Brady, you're funny, because I would never did anyone on Patriot. I don't care how much point they did. I won't do it. No, I got Patrick Mahomes, who is showing to be having a destined year of domination. He, guys, this kid is gonna be way better than Tom Brady. So I like, why not pick him up? And the first two weeks, he been getting almost 500 yard passing in the first two weeks of the regular season. Averaging mean like, if they stay like 24, 25 points each week. No, he been doing more than that. I think the first week he got me 28 points, and the past week he got me 31 points. Like that, almost five after point than that he would Suggested to me, so I'm I'm happy about that pick. And then the next one I got, I got Michael Thomas, which is a wide receiver on the new one. Oh my guy, let's get back into this after that mess happened with my camera and memory card. I had to change the memory card. So where were we? Oh why we were talking about Michael Thomas from New Orleans wide receiver. He's my next player on my team. Um, he's a great player, y'all. Like, amazing. He's been averaging around 15, 14 points for the first two weeks. And this week, he puts it at like 17 points. Um, but that's a little up, that's a little down, depending on how well they do on Sunday. I feel like that. Maybe a uh, white. The next one I got Keenan Allen from the Los Angeles Chargers. He, uh, let's see. He's another wide receiver on my team. And he been doing amazing as well, just like Pat Mahomes. Um, this way he, he predicted to get 20 points for me. And th that pretty much is average for the first two weeks. Like, he's been, he been helping my team win. 
the next one I got Dalvin da Dalvin Tuck, running back from Minnesota. And let me just tell you about this guy. This guy, this running back from Minnesota Vikings last week, week two, he got me almost 30 points. Almost as much as Pat Mahomes. Like, oh my god. I am meant to be playing fantasy football. Like, I know who to get, who to put in, who I should have in my lineup every week, who I should take off instead of all that. It's a, it doesn't matter. Like, I would be just to Lou last week, and I came out and I won it by the end of Sunday night. Then I got another running back, Dante Freeman from the Atlanta Falcons. He he's a dirt back up, don't tell me one. Like he has started he has started uh, running back in real life, but he's a dirt back up on my team. And he's averaging around 14 points a week. Not bad for a back up. Then obviously Tuck is the number one starter. And then I just had to put him in. He went on my bench. I had to put Mike William, a wide receiver from Los Angeles Chargers, because Jeffrey, wide receiver from the Eagles, got hurt last week and gave me no point at all last week. And they're saying that he's out, so I had to put him on my bench. Maybe eventually, maybe swap him and get somebody out. But Mike William is average. He projected to get me like around 13, 14 points so far through the first three weeks. And then I got the Los Angeles Ram Tito. And he been amazing. He been giving me like between 10 to 15 points a week on his hitting. Like that's really good on a Tito. And then on defense, Right now I have the Los Angeles Ram defense, Los Angeles Charger defense in, and they're averaging me 720. So it's average around seven to eight points a week. Not bad. And then I go to my bench, that on on my bench. So I told you I have Jeffrey, wide receiver from the Eagles. And it's saying that he's questionable and out for now. Then I go to tight end and I have Henry from the LA, LA Chargers and he been out then week after week one and he he did a really amazing job for me week one and then he's out but I, I don't even know. And then I have Oakland Raider running back shaked up and they're saying that he's questionable but he's not out like the other two people before him. My backup to be is Matt Ryan from the Belton. And he averaged around 20. So if Pat Mahomes did hurt, that's gonna hurt my team a lot. So hopefully he don't get hurt. Not on wood. Um, but that's not bad for a backup to order back on your team, averaging 20 points. And then a tight end, I have Tuck, which is on the New Orleans, which this week he's averaging 7 points, probably because we will be out, which that's going to hurt the offense on New Orleans. And then my other defense, which is on my bench, is New Orleans, um, they're averaging this week is 5.09, which that's not bad. But they done better in the past. So, I don't know. They don't have a tough team this week. Especially with Ruby out having surgery and then recovering. That's going to be a big loss for the team. So, yeah. Oh, I, I missed one. My tight end that I that is active in my lineup is Walter, which is from Tennessee Titans. And they're playing Thursday night in Jacksonville. And he's averaging 
uh, last week two and week one, he averaged me about 12 point a day. This week, they're projecting him to be nine point or roughly 10. And that could be higher, that could be lower, we just don't know. So, that's pretty much everybody on my fantasy team. Minus, I might have to swap three of them and get three new people. One wide receiver, one tight end, and one running back. It's, uh, there are two of them are completely out. We don't know when they're returning, and one of them is questionable. So, I don't know if I want to keep them on my bench or not. But I will let you guys know. And with that, I hope you enjoy my team. And comment down below if you think I'm 